Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Dorksy and in today's video we're going to be talking about university in the UK. So basically me and my friend, I, god damn her name is hard, it's Imke, I-M-K-E, she's on Twitter, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So uh, do go check her out, she's a good friend of mine. And we were just talking this morning about university and how it's, how it differs in different places, like especially in like Europe. And like how it can like completely different in the US. And I was basically talking about how, you know, you have student loans and how like how, how all the fund, funds go. And how basically at the UK, it's basically a free education in a way. So basically, this, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm just going to be talking about how it all kind of works. So basically, you go to university. Generally, you can start from when you're 18. However, it's open for whenever. However, it, when you get to, I think it's above 25, there's some different kind of, uh, forms that you have to fill out. So when you're 18 to 25, I think it is. Uh, don't correct, don't like quote me on this because I'm just giving you the information that I've learnt about basically. So when I went to university when I was 18, and I'm still in university now, so I'm doing a full three-year course and it's a full uh, degree, and it's going to get me an honors degree at the end of it. So that's like a that's like the major, that's the average, the average degree I suppose. Three years, and then you have a degree at the end of it. So basically. In my year, I was the final year of the U in the UK to have the tuition fees at only three thousand three hundred pound a term. And basically, what this means is that um, for my course, because it's a three year stint, I would basically pay about ten grand altogether for the entire course. However, you pay it in different stints. So you pay like three grand, three grand, three grand each year. However, if I went literally one year later. I would be paying maybe up to eight grand per semester. So that's obviously, you know, triple the tuition fees to do it. However, I don't have to get this money by myself. It's not like in America where you have to pay for it. And that's how you, uh, there's different colleges that pay different fees and you have to pay it then. Basically in the UK, you have this company slash government, um, government thing, I suppose, called student finance. But basically they pay the tuition fees for you instantly, you, like you never see the money. It literally goes from your student finance England account into the uh, university, and then at the end of the three years, you all of a sudden have this debt that you don't have to pay instantly. So it, it's all kind of based off of how much money you earn. So if you earn no money, you don't have to pay it. But as soon as you start earning, I think it's over fifteen grand, or maybe I think I upped to maybe twenty grand uh, over the last couple of years. But then you start paying off a very, very, very small percentage of this student of this loan, and that's a tuition loan. So that's the first part. That's how the tuition works. So you don't have to. You never see the money. You can't go. Oh, I don't want to go to university and then have three grand. You never see it. It just literally goes from your, from the student finance to the university in a way, and that's how the tuition works. Then you have from the same people, student finance. You have maintenance loan and maintenance grant. Now, how these work? Is it's all based off of your parents' income or your own income, depending on how old you are. Obviously, if you're like at my age group, then it's all based off your income, or no, your parents' income. Sorry. So my parents are self-employed, and they generally uh, don't earn that much. And if you don't, and if your parents don't earn that much, then your maintenance loan and maintenance grant are at the highest kind of level. So let's let's act like there's like a pyramid in a way. So like the people who have really uh, low income parents get the maximum grant and loan and the people who have fairly well off parents have pretty much no maintenance loan and no maintenance grant now the way now the why this is is because student finance seems to think that because your parents are rich they would pay for you to go to university however that's not always the case like i have a couple of friends who have well off parents but they don't pay for them in any way they just get a smaller maintenance loan and grant so that's kind of sucky. I think that's kind of um, a flaw in the system in a way because like they basically say, your parents are rich, they will pay for you. We're not going to pay for you. That that's basically how it works. So like, and that's just for living. That's not for like the course. That's just for like living costs. So like a house, food, going out. You know that kind of money. Um, so besides the the maintenance loan and grant, so there's the maintenance loan which you have to pay back. So generally, I get about I think it's about two thousand pound each semester in the year so that's six grand altogether so i'm living off six grand for a 10 month period in in the year 10 month no eight eight months i think it's about eight or nine months that i'm going to be using the six grand in. so generally it's not that much money but it, it it does quite well 
And uh, basically, the maintenance loan itself um, kind of comes in, and you have to pay that back. That all that money is it's not like with um, with the tuition fees where you don't see it. You literally get it in your bank, and then you have the choice of then paying rent with it, paying money with it, or literally just going mental and buying a computer, which is what I did in the first semester, in the first year of the of the second semester. So the final one, I have like I've got two grand. Let's buy a computer, why not? So, you know, you can have that ability and it, it, obviously if your course finishes quite early. So like mine finished in, I think it was May that year. So obviously I had like quite a lot of spare money for only like a month. So basically I had so much spare money that I was like, you know, why not? I can. So um, yeah, that happened on the maintenance loan. So that's what you have to pay back. Now the maintenance grant is a smaller amount of money. However, you get this money and you don't have to pay it back. That's so when I say I get two grand altogether, I probably get about 1300 or 1400 loan and then 700 grand. So that's basically how it works. That's like, it's not like a, the balance kind of thing. It's not like it's a thousand each. It's, it's normally the loan is a bit bigger than the grand. That's how it works. But I don't have to pay that grand back. That is money that I get given and I can just use it and I don't have to worry about it again. So actually in terms of when I finish this year, I don't actually know how much money I'm going to have to give back. That's kind of worrying. Maybe we should know. Oh well, yeah. So that those are the things. That's how the money works in the UK. Now there are little things that you can get, like um, I get a bursary as well because I was one of the first people in my family to go to university. Then I basically got some extra money called bursary, and burs and basically you get basically bursary. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, your bursary is free money, like a grant, and it all kind of depends on if you are entitled to it in some way like so my parents like for example if your parents don't have that much income then it, this is all university based as well this isn't student finance this is based on the university giving you money for generally like m like my brother got um i think about 1500 grant each year because he was the first in my family to go to university so obviously that could be quite a big thing it could be quite a big privilege so you know he's lucky in that way he's always lucky so yeah that's how that works so that's all the money that's basically how it all works. In terms of, like, my view on it all, like I say, the maintenance loan shouldn't just be based off your parents' income. It should be based off of, you know, the parents should be able to say, I'm going to pay, or I'm going to be like, no, I'm not going to pay. And then, you know, it, it, it's, it seems like a bit of a confusing system right now, and I, th I feel like some people get just the wrong end of the stick in a way, because just because their parents are rich, it doesn't mean that they're going to get the money. So, you know, that, that kind of sucks in a way. But hopefully this is cleared up how it all works, you know, you basically come out with, I think I'm going to come out with about, about 15,000 uh, 15, in debt, I think it is, yeah, I think it's about that, maybe, maybe a bit more, actually quite a lot, a bit more, maybe, I can't remember, but yeah, that, that, basically you come out with all this, all this debt, and is it worth it at the end of it, I would say so, I mean, not just for the course, I mean, I'm finishing the course and not going into the career industry that it kind of leads you into but I'll never forget the experience that I've had at university and just being able to like the university life is one that I would always recommend to just try out even if it's just for the first year you know living on your own or living with like seven random people in, in my view and then just having a good time as well and it's just it's just fun to just do like it even if it you know people are worried about the debt and honestly I wouldn't worry about it I mean I don't know about international students when they come over I don't know how how, how it's all different. I imagine that there's like international pay for student finance or something along those lines. But um, yeah, in terms of how it all works, I think it works all right. And you know, I've had a good time. So hopefully you enjoyed this video guys. As always, I've been Dulcy. Links are always in the description for my Facebook, my Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Imiku is gonna be in there as well. So she, she came up with the kind of topic of this video. So be sure to go check her out. And also I'd just like to say, Thank you for Tiara and Mason for being amazing followers on my Twitter. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.